At stake is how much Trump will owe in monetary damages after a judge found him liable for fraud last week. He could even lose control of Trump Tower and some of his other properties. All right, we have team coverage following this major story tonight. Ashley Rodriguez has been outside court all day monitoring any protest activity. But first, we go to Morgan McKay, who was inside the courtroom as the case got underway. Morgan. Former President Donald Trump was back in court, but this time he didn't have to be here. Trump said he decided to attend today's trial because he, quote, wanted to watch this witch hunt myself. But Stephen Teresa, Trump was angry. Throughout opening of remarks, he repeatedly scowled, shook his head, and folded his arms. And repeatedly, we saw him grow more and more frustrated throughout the trial. Livid might be a better word to describe his attitude inside that courtroom. Now, his son Eric Trump sat behind him and Attorney General Letitia James was also sitting in the front row. So what's at stake here? Well, Attorney General James is seeking $250 million in penalties and a permanent ban on Trump doing business in New York. James sued Trump, his company, his two oldest sons and top Trump organization officials last year. James alleges that this group lied about the value of Trump's real estate properties by billions of dollars in order to obtain better loan terms and tax benefits. Trump's attorneys today arguing, however, that these banks still profited millions of dollars in interest and emphasized that there were no, quote, victims. Now, the judge in this case already ruled last week that Trump committed fraud in his business dealings. If that ruling is upheld in the appeal, this could force Trump to give up properties like Trump Tower and a Wall Street office building. That This is what's called a bench trial, so there is no jury. The judge will issue the the ruling. So for this trial, the judge is now making a decision on the six remaining claims in the lawsuit. But because of this ruling last week, here is what Trump had to say as he left the courtroom for lunch. They ought to look for the murderers and the killers that are all over New York killing people and the violent crime that's being committed in our city and our state is disgraceful and we're going to be here for months with a judge that already made up his mind. It's ridiculous. My message is simple. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. And it is my responsibility and my duty and my job to enforce it. Now, I want to share one more interaction that I saw inside the courtroom. As they were leaving for lunch, Trump was walking by Attorney General James as she was sitting there, and he sort of stopped and scowled down at her and then continued to walk. Now, Eric Trump was walking behind him, and he actually stopped, shook James's hand, and said, it's nice to meet you. Now, this trial is expected to last until December 22nd. Reporting outside the courthouse, I'm Morgan Mackay. Stephen Teresa, back to you.